we gotta talk about supply chains a little bit. Now, if I read this correctly, they want to break the supply chains to the rural areas. So if you're preemptively stocking up on food, preparing for the supply chains break, if I were you, I'd go into the city. Do not touch the supplies in your town. Take a long drive and supply up somewhere else and bring the supplies back to your town. That way when the supply chain does break, and if it does, if it does, it might, it might not. Most likely will, and most likely will happen early November. And it'll most likely, either early November or somewhere in the coldest part of winter. But if you're gonna supply up early, then I suggest that you go out of town or out of your town and supply up probably in the city. And then on, a, on another note, the importance of a flashlight. Now, flashlight, you need to see in the dark, especially if you're working. Uh, tactical flashlights have a different use. A lot of tactical flashlights have a, like a edged rim. Uh, sometimes they have tungsten tips and they use, they use them to break glass in case you need to escape a vehicle. On top of that, they, darkness is used for evasion. <laughs> light is used for confrontation. Uh, a bright light will allow you to close the distance. Uh, if, you're, if you're holding a weapon, say a gun or what, the most people, they put the light underneath the gun, pointing where the gun is facing, right on their center mass. But if you're trying to close distance, I'm, don't, I'm not sure if this is true. I've never seen it done tactically. But I would say <clears throat> I would put my hand out a little bit because they cannot see your body. So they're going to shoot for the light. <clears throat> so if they're, since they're going to shoot for the light, you don't want the light centered on your center of mass. It's just a thought. Anyway, Jones out. <laughs>